We created a function that has a reserved word as its name. Now we get errors when we try to call it. If we can't call it, why does Oracle let us use the name in the first place? It's an interesting sort of catch-22 or chicken and the egg. We'll get straight into a demo to actually explore the subtle nuances that come when you're dealing with Oracle reserved words. So I've created a function here called count. And you know, un unbeknown to me, I've chosen a reserved word, namely the keyword count, but I wanted to count something. So it seemed intuitive to use the word count. And the Oracle database lets me do that just fine. It doesn't complain. Of course, the moment I try to call that function, I'm just trying to output its uh, return value here. It says, I'm sorry, you can't do that. You can't use the word count inside DBMS output. That seems a bit weird because why did it let me create the function in the first place? Maybe it's just the case. Maybe I need to use uppercase count and see what that happens. But same thing, I get the same problem. Oracle is case insensitive when it comes to dictionary by default. I can actually call the function. If I actually put my count in quotes, then I actually do succeed to get through the checks. And yes, the Oracle database will indeed call my function called count. And so you can actually see it can be done. But let's have a look at what's going on. If I look at the reserved words view, and yes, we do actually supply a view called V dollar reserved words, which has the list of all the reserved words in the Oracle database. And rest assured, there's many of them. And as each version goes on, more and more keywords become reserved. But notice there for each keyword, we have the length obviously, but we have these extra columns, reserved, res type, res atta, res semi, etc. So let's explore those a little bit further. Let's tackle this count keyword, what happens with the word count? And if we look at the V dollar reserve words for the keyword of count, what's interesting is it's actually in there. But if you look at reserved, it says no, res type, no, all the res columns say, yep, it's not reserved, but it's in the reserved words. That's a bit sort of counterintuitive, but its presence in V dollar reserved words means it's special in some way to the Oracle database. But those other values are saying that it's maybe not as significantly reserved as some other things may be. And we'll explore that a bit further. What's interesting, Lizzie, if I actually went to extend that a bit further, if you want to mess with your friends at work, create a function called count one or count anything like that, because you could have some fun with this, because then when someone does select count one from scott.emp, they'll do a correct select count star effectively. They'll get 14 rows. But if they were to happen to put it in double quotes, they'd actually get the 14 rows back because they're now calling the function. That's just for you to fun there if you want to mess with your friends. But if we look at V dollar reserved words, we saw that count is not flagged as reserved, but let's see what actually is. If I look at reserved equals Y, and just I'm just grabbing a random 10 rows here, you can see there are some things that actually are listed as reserved and tagged with reserved equals y. We see things like with, where, view, varchar to, varchar, etc. So the question is, why are they tagged as y? And how does that differ from, say, count, which was in V dollar reserved word, but not tagged as reserved equals y? This is the first sort of suggestion we can see how it's different. If I do create a replace function varchar to, unlike the count keyword, which I was allowed to use it, varchar2 is not allowed to be used. It is slightly more reserved than the keyword count. And that's what vidola reserved word is trying to sort of indicate to us here. It's reserved effectively across the board in all cases. You can't use it even in a function declaration as opposed to count. Let's go look at, for example, res atta, which is res atta equals y. And it says the things which are not marked as reserved, but they are res atta, which I'll make a logical leap here and assume that's reserved attribute are things like nested table ID or column value. So let's grab that first one, nested table ID, and see how it's protected in some way. Similar to the count, I can actually create a function called nested table ID. The database doesn't mind that at all. So that's because it's not tagged as reserved equals Y. If I drop that function and try to create a type which has as one of its columns nested table ID, I get an error. This value is reserved if you're using it as an attribute. That's my hypothesis here. And nested table ID inside an object would be an attribute. And it's not allowed to be used because it's reserved with res atta equals y. It says that's invalid use of a type name or subtype name. So hopefully that explains a little bit how there are different layers or different levels of how reserved something is. That's why you can actually create things like functions with certain reserved keyword names and not others. My recommendation is, like, duh, just steer clear. 
that that's a very flippant wave of my hand. Like, yes, just, you know, just don't use them. I understand the fact that if you go into V-Dollar Reserve Words, there's literally thousands of entries in there. And of course, times change. In fact, my very own Ask Tom database, which we use for the Ask Tom system, many of the columns there that have date information in them are actually called timestamp. The actual column is called timestamp because when Ask Tom was first built, there was no timestamp data type. We just have to accommodate that. We use a lot of double quotes here and there, and we should get around to renaming the column. So I understand that the world changes as, as the versions evolved. But obviously, save yourself the pain. Just steer clear of, of reserved words as best you can.